Hello, it's Sergio Lionel. Relax, we'll get to that later. Anyway, my full name is Sergio Lionel del Castillo here. I was born on the 2nd of June 1988 in Argentina. I play at Frankfurt, Manchester City in Argentina, and I married to Maridona. Not the Maridona, but his daughter, Janina. Or at least I was. We've split up now. Anyways, like I was saying, my name is Sergio, and lots of people called me Cunaguero. That's because when I was a kid, everyone thought I looked like a cartoon caveman on Argentine TV called Cumcum. I like the nickname so much that I have it tattooed on my arm, but I have it tattooed there in Tengwar, which is a fictitious alphabet that J.R.R. Tolkien came up with for the Lord of the Rings. True fact. Anyway, I started my career at Independiente in Argentina. I was scouted age 9 and went on to become their youngest ever first team player, starting at 15 years and 35 days. In fact, I was the youngest ever debut in their division. A string of good performances over the next two seasons saw me move to Atletico Madrid for 20 million euro. But Independiente will always have a place in my heart. A fifth yellow card of the season prevented me from playing my final game for Independiente. The TV cameras caught my tears as I left the field knowing I was unable to say goodbye to the fans properly. I started well enough for Atletico, but when Fernando Torres left in 07, I was free to be the main man. I scored crucial goals against Barca, Real, Villarreal, and Sevilla, helping Atletico qualify for the Champions League for the first time ever. Over the next few years, I forged a great partnership with Diego Forlan. Remember him, United fans? He was great in Spain. But I became frustrated at always finishing fourth and wanted a bigger challenge. I handed in a transfer request, prompting some Atletico fans to hang a banner saying, We hope you die in the stands. Look, I left and went on to win stuff, and Atletico amazingly went on to win the league. So we all won, and nobody died. Manchester City bought me for 45 million euro, and the new chapter started in my life. It was written in English, not Elvish. That first season was crazy. I bagged over 20 goals. Not bad, especially when pundits always reckon you have to take a season to adapt to the hectic pace of the Premier League. We had great team spirit that year under boss Mancini. We pulled together to win five straight games at the end of the season and overturned an eight-point deficit to United. And the final game of the season? Who can forget that? I scored at the death of stoppage time to snatch the league title from United on goal difference. Sorry, Fergie, for spoiling your party. Okay, now you can go for it. Anyway, we won the league again in 13-14, and this season we've started to show the same kind of form in Europe. Things are looking up for us at City. I love it here, so much that I've signed an extension on my contract that should keep me in the blue half of Manchester until 2019. I'm lucky enough to play for my country, and I'm a proud Argentine, despite actually also holding Spanish nationality. I love playing with Messi. In fact, that's one of the highlights of playing for Argentina, hanging out with Messi. We've been roommates on international duty since 2005, and we became best friends. Messi even wrote the foreword to my autobiography. I'm widely considered one of the best strikers in the world. Two kids in Manchester have been suspended from school for copying my admittedly slightly dodgy mohawk, and I'm loved by City fans and hated by United. Keep watching, and don't forget to hit subscribe. Sletem was born in a humble hospital in Sweden on the 3rd of October 1981 in Malmö, Sweden. 